I'm Kyle from Mega... Actually, we should introduce each other. This is Kyle from Mega Steak Man. And this is Steve from the League of Man Children. And we're here at Vancouver Fan Expo. Is there any other? Is there? Actually, there is. Well, how many? I think there's two. Okay, hints for workout, like, uh, you know, pumping up my, my daily routine, just like bulk up a bit, you know? You lift superheroes over your head and break them over your knee. You ever considered doing cosplay one of these days? Um, I've done a few in the past, actually. So, okay, so you've been uh, going to cons a lot? I only started going a few months back. Is that what turned your hair gray? Yes. I thought that Bruce Campbell played Ash. Perhaps he did. Okay. But who's the better Ash? So, Brock, you gave up a uh, life of training because you didn't want to support your family. Where are they now? Hopefully the dad is taking care of them. If not, they're all screwed. You're like a type of, what, mouse? I'm a Pokemon. Pokemon. What kind of Pokemon? I'm Nidorina. Now name all Pokemons. Electro, Diglett, Ninoran, Mankey, Venusaur, Tatsu, Furo, Pidgey. There's been accusations of animal cruelty. I'm sure there have been, yeah. but I do think that they enter it willingly. Okay. DC King, Jolteon, Dragonite, Ghastly. As a Pokemon trainer, or, or I play one on TV. Pokemon master. Yes. See, why do you call um, yourself a master if they're not slaves? <laughs> I have no <laughs> response to that. That's really <laughs> well said. War Turtle, Mewtwo, Tentacruel, Aerodactyl, Arbonite, Slowbro. Okay, what's the, what's the first element in the periodic table? Um. I'm here with uh, Pee Wee Herman, and you are on a huge comeback right now, aren't you? I, I, I know you are, but what am I? Thank you. No more trips to the theater, I'm guessing, right now is not No, it. no, they won't let me back in. Hi, I'm here with Ace Ventura, Bumblebee Tuna. Bumblebee Tuna to you, my good man. So, uh, how's the uh, pet dick things these days? Oh, the pet dick thing these days is doing quite well. In fact, it's short, shriveled, and always to the left, but the pet detective business is doing quite well. I'm standing here with the Red Hood. Um, so you were dead. Yes. And then you're not. Yes. Because you went into a kiddie pool. They threw me in and they hoped I would come out again. And you did, so yeah. that's good. So it worked out in their favor in the end. Did you pee in the pool? Are you like a green version of the Red Arrow? I am Green Arrow. It's a green version of the Red Arrow. And then, no. All right, we're standing here with Master Chef. We're kind of near the bathrooms right now. Do you just go in the suit? Is that, uh, does he have one free filter? Clip, and I can do it just like anybody else. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. In order to sit down on a toilet in this suit, I have to remove everything until the knee pads. And then you go back and you have to be on, on duty. On duty or in it. Yep. Civil War it's really just, did it to you, didn't it? Uh, you know, it's just, uh, I'd rather not talk about that. I really don't want to talk about it because then you come up the Iron Spider suit and, oh, oh well, you know. Oh. I got caught up in things, so. And you can pee inside the suit. Well, yes. yes. You weren't supposed to, though. Well, I found out that a hard way. I'm here with Teen Wolf. Uh, actually, the Wolf Man. Is Teen Wolf kind of cramping your style? A little bit, you know. Does that make you howling mad? So I'm standing here with Sub-Zero, and I am absolutely frozen in geekdom right now. Oh, I see what you did there. Oh, Chill out. Oh, nice, <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah. Do you stand up or something? Because uh, no. No? I'm not cool enough. <laughs> see this guy, man, this guy, swear to God. So I'm standing here with Gumby. Holy crap, man, what are you, like 80 years old? You are resilient. Yeah, I'm pretty old. Anyone ever tried to steal the Zord before? It happened once. We just, we don't talk about it. Kimberly had to help me out. It was a bad situation. I did call on Star, actually, uh, but they were busy, so I had to wait there for a while, and it was really awkward during a battle. It's like, people are dying. So here we are in front of the DeLorean that Doc Brown himself used to bring massive amounts of cocaine from the past back to the future. I need to explain StarCraft a little, so you guys craft stars. Not entirely true. Uh, basically, there's three races all fighting against each other, the Terran, the Zerg, and the Protoss. Right. That happens. And Warhammer, what's up with you? I'm a Blood Raven. I would like to claim this in the Emperor's name. <laughs> oh. I, th I think we got a beef going on here. I, some This is intergalactic beefing. Shit is popping off here. Sweet. 
I'm standing here with Princess Leia. Do I, are you still a princess in this attire? Or? I am still a princess. I'm slave princess. Slave princess Leia. Right. I'm a slave for Jabba. Really? Oh yes. wow! So you're not you're not really captive, are you? No, no. I love when he puts me in chains and beats me. <laughs> what if I told you that uh, young males bought these things, uh, so stricken with loneliness that it's like their only form of companionship? I think it's great. I think they need to add like arms though, maybe some boobs. So it's more more curved, more contours. Exactly. Make it like a real woman, okay. right? I'm with Vega and Cami right now. Hi guys. Hello. You guys look amazing. I always look amazing, thank you. First question, are you cold? It's a little nippy in here. <laughs> yeah. I'm standing here now with Hell... Chick? Gir Hell Chick. Chick. Hell Chick? I was going to say Hell Girl, Hell Woman. Hell Lady. Hell Lady. Madame Hell. Is that good? Perfect. That's good. I'm standing here with uh, Harley Quinn. So you're a psychiatrist? Yes. I once was and now I... I'll Mr. J around. He's I still think you look mentally sound. I'm. I, I totally am. Are people saying that I'm mentally insane? No, no. They're saying you're more mentally. Because I know how to kill people. I've done it before. Um. So how is your practice these days? Practice is good. Yeah. Do you know people can die within 30 seconds of touching my hands? It's the coolest thing. You'd be really excited to see it. Thank you for your time, and I'm gonna run now and maybe scream. So, uh, first and foremost, do you have a permit to raid those tombs? Nope. But those are like sensitive archaeological sites. You can't just like waltz in there and shoot whatever you feel like. Lara Croft. Oh, okay. So, congratulations on the film American Mary. Um, can we see it in Canada? Yes, you'll be able to see it May 30th. It's coming to theaters across the country at Cineplex. What has been your favorite experience at the con so far? Sharing a booth with Tom Savini. Sucks machine. He is a god. Right over there. Tom Savini, what have I done wrong with my makeup today? Well, let's just say that it would be like if you were a guitar player and all of a sudden you had to play for Paul McCartney. What would that be like? If Bruce Campbell was standing over there. I mean, you do look a lot like him, you know? Yeah. So I have that going for me. But this. No, this not cinema not quality. It's gotta go, yeah. <laughs> Since you really pushed the boundaries on, on cinematic violence. What do you think about today's films, like the torture porn, Saws? And I don't watch them. No? I own them. Yeah. I own Saw, I own Hostel, but I've never seen them. It's just not my idea of uh, entertainment, you know? The news is worse. I, don't, I haven't watched the news in eight years, and my life is so much better. I mean, my daughter has to tell me when something horrible happens outside, because I have no idea. You, you hunt the undead, right? Yeah. Okay, now, are deadites undead? We just kill we them. Just, yeah. You just kill indiscriminately. Yes. I feel Joss Whedon has kind of like lost his um, his charm when it comes to writing interesting female characters, or is he just finding a new way to express it? Honestly, uh, let's, be, let's be honest here. What the hell has he done since Firefly? What do you think of uh, stem cell research for the purpose of regrowing tissue uh, for facial injuries and burn victims? Uh, it's kind of helping me out a little bit. Um, I think it's great because it promotes a lot of parades, gives a lot of notice for people and everything that have skin conditions. Uh, this is simply just from over tanning, and people don't realize that you need to really take care of your skin. Unless your teeth are really well taken care of, do you have any? I mean, do you brush them? How many times a day do you brush them? I have a great dentist, and they're fake, girl. Um, yeah. Tell me a little bit about your web series. Oh, Under the Hood. It's a it's a show. It's a comedy web series about what your video game characters are doing when you're not playing the video game, and just all the the stuff they can complain about the, the bad playing by the player. Do you feel that in the uh, new prequels that appeared in the last few years that Yo-Yo has perhaps returned to uh, being more of a 2D character? Do you have an appearance in Star Wars? I've, I've heard some rumors. Yeah, I think they're still trying to work it out. I'm here with uh, Darth. Disney. Darth Disney. And uh, you have Lucas' soul now, so how does that feel? Oh, it feels awesome. He gave up 40% of himself to us. Which 40% was that? The part that he used on the original trilogy. Terry Gilliam may be hard to work with, but remember, a true artist is always <laughs> difficult because people are just, they're not willing to go that level. Noam Chomsky. Um, is there any frustrations when it comes to um, 
Do I call it killing? Straight up killing, assassinating? What do I? Liberating one's soul? Yes, it's a, uh, it's it's pesky business. Uh, you know, it just uh, wait times are just crazy now. Cell phones are a big problem for you. Cell phones, uh, Candy Crush. You have 401ks. Well, the truth of it is, in Cobra, we actually have one of the greatest 401k retirement packages ever. MetLife. Blue Cross. If anyone actually manages to make it that far, absolutely. Tell me about your web series. Sure, it's called Standard Action. It's the fantasy comedy web series for geeks of all kinds. It's traditional elven song. You listening? We're actually D&D based. We have two seasons up online. Uh, first season is 14 episodes long. Second season is eight episodes long. And we are kickstarting our third season. And we've already succeeded. So we're up at about 20K for our third season. How do you think the proliferation of this video footage trend is going to um, change you know, the way we interact or the way we socialize? I mean, it's definitely another way of getting out and reaching out to the people. I think it's a fad. It's like newspapers then, just a fad. I think newspapers will be around forever. That's how people want to get their news, the next day in paper form. Steve here with the League of Man Children. Michael here, also with the League of Man Children. And we just went on the Magic Land movie ride of Stargate SG-1. Woo! It, it was kind of boring. I really, yeah. I had no reaction to it at all. Lacked energy, yeah. I was kind of just like, meh. Yeah. You know, it was a really relaxing time. I, I felt it was good for my back to just sit down for a second. This con is long. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, it was a nice uh, relaxing ride. I, I thought it was going to be interactive porn. I was completely wrong. I was totally wrong on yeah. that one. We've had a lot of fun at Fan Expo. Way too much fun, more than I'm allowed. <laughs> so make sure you comment on this video, like, share, and subscribe. And listen to all our podcasts on the leagueofmanchildren.com. Also rate and subscribe. They're not safe for work. And you will get fired if you listen to them at work. So do it. So do it. Mega Steak Man. Mega Steak Man.